You have the esophagus. Food comes down the esophagus. It goes to the gastroesophageal sphincter, which leads you into the stomach. The top part of the stomach right here is called the fundus. This is the fundus of the stomach. The lining around it is called the serosa. That is the lining around the stomach. Okay, once inside the stomach, there are three regions. There's the cardiac region, the body, and the pyloric region. All these folds here, that's called rugae. Okay, then you have the here, up top is the lesser curvature. Connected to here would be the lesser omentum. Then here you have the greater curvature, and connected to that would be the greater omentum. The omentum is just like an apron that protects all the internal organs of your digestive system. Back here in the pyloric region, your food continues. It goes out the pyloric sphincter and drops into the duodenum. Inside here, the duodenum, you have the pylori uh, circularis right here. That's the only place it is, is right here, right when you get out of the pyloric, plique, yeah. <laughs> plique circularis. Sorry for that mispronunciation. Plique circularis are these folds right here. Your food continues through the duodenum, and it, then here you have the villi. These folds here are the villi of the small intestines. This little green line here, I'm not sure if you can see it on the video, but it's here, would be the bile duct, which drains bile into duodenum. This organ right here, underneath the stomach, is the pancreas, and this white line going through it is the main pancreatic duct, which then splits into the t upper part, which is the accessory pancreatic duct, and then goes to the bottom part is the main pancreatic duct, which empties into the duodenum of the small intestine via the ampular of Vader and the sphincter of Odi. You'd continue in the small intestine to the ilia, to the jejunum, then to, the, to the ilium, and you'd get to the ilium here, which then drains into the cecum via the ileocecal valve. At the bottom here of the cecum, you have the appendix. Your food then travels up the ascending colon, and it gets and it turns here by the by the hepatic flexure to the transverse colon, which isn't here but would be here in a normal stomach. Then you get to the splenic flexure. The food comes down the intestine, comes to here, the descending colon. And then, it, and then you have the segmoid colon here, which leads into the rectum. The rectum then leads into the anus, and your food leaves the body. Here in the anus, the only thing to just really be aware of is the two... Uh, sphincters, the internal and external sphincter. The difference between them is the internal sphincter is involuntary, while the external sphincter, you hope, is voluntary so you can hold it in.